Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this channel, we talk about artificial intelligence and related stuff. Today, I have a very exciting video for all of you. In this video, I will show you how you can create your own podcast by just click of a button. This weekend, I found some free time, so I utilized that to create a Jupyter Notebook which uses ChatGPT and some other APIs to create these automatic podcasts. Though I didn't get much time to fine tune it further and uh, improve it, but still I would say the output is pretty impressive. Uh, it's very much sounding like a real world podcast, but in the end I will give you some bonus tips by which you can improve it further and make it more realistic podcasts. So the process looks like this. I created two personas using chat GPT APIs. One persona for a podcast host and another persona of a podcast expert which is a guest in the podcast. And then I made them talk using chat GPT API. In this process, I created some great content which I later on converted to a speech using text to speech synthesizer. And this is a very interesting process and giving very good output. So let's dive in. Hey viewers, I have a request to all of you. In this channel, I want to create a more use case based and practical content. And because of it, I have to do some extra work sometime. So I request you to please like and subscribe so that I can know that my content is useful to you and I keep on doing it. So now let's create AI based podcasts. Here I have opened my Jupyter notebook in a cloud GPU provider and in the first cell I am pip installing all the required dependencies. I am installing OpenAI API and I am installing Bark which is a text to speech synthesizer from suno.ai. So I am going to run this cell. Now in the second cell, you can see, oh, let it install. All right. So in the second cell, I am importing the text to speech synthesizer dependencies and I am preloading the text to speech synthesizer models which are bark models from suno.ai and these uh, i have found generates really good very human like uh, text to speech and in the third cell i have openai api key uh, and it is required to get access to openai api i am going to delete it before uploading and the fourth cell is really important here i am giving the persona to the openai api I'm telling that you are a host of a podcast and the user is an expert and I'm telling all uh, important things around uh, the topic uh, for, for which I want to generate these uh, uh, podcasts. And as you can see, I have given some topics also like ants and efforts, crows hold grudges, etc. You can give or you may not give also these topics and uh, you can have a podcast host and expert in a free flow conversation then but i have uh, searched uh, some important uh, interesting facts around animal kingdom and i have put uh, uh, these uh, interesting facts in the persona itself so that uh, i want to keep the podcast around these topics only but you may omit this part and be more creative in generating more free flow conversation okay so these are the topics i actually i got these topics from the chat gpt itself i just search tell me some interesting facts around animal kingdom and i put here okay so just read out this and be more creative in it and in the second cell i mean the fifth cell i am giving the persona of the expert which is an expert in the anim animal kingdom field and i'm telling him be uh, more human like and uh, give detailed answer etc etc you can just read in the notebook here i am generating the podcast around animal kingdom but you are free to choose any topic of your choice and here in the sixth cell i am creating a function which talks to openai i mean the chat gpt api 
in this function i am specifying the model which i want to use and some uh, settings you are free to change these settings just play with them and you can play with some other models provided by chat gpt also in the next cell i am giving the seed prompt so these are the words first spoken by the podcast host and in the response of this dialogue our expert will answer something and this way the whole conversation will grow and another important thing is the for loop range i have given the value of 5 it means total 5 questions and answers will be generated if you want to change this number you are free to do so this will increase or decrease the length of the podcast and the ninth cell is doing some text formatting of the text which we get from openai and this formatting is required to uh, generate the text to speech I, here i am breaking the text based on uh, completion of the sentence by dot new line question marks exclamation marks so the text will be splitted and uh, given to the text to speech synthesizer one by one because uh, the the suno uh, api uh, can generate i guess not more than 10 seconds of audio at a time so i'm splitting sentence by sentence here in the 10th cell i am giving some speaker styles so in the suno i mean the bark api you get many speaker styles so i have chosen two speaker style one for the podcast host another for the podcast expert and rest is my code to generate the speech from text so now let me show you the output of the openai api calls so this is the text we got from openai and it has been formatted uh, according to my logic so that it can be fed line by line to the text to speech synthesizer model you can see here the whole podcast conversation and here you can see the audio is getting generated from this text so now i present you the ai generated podcast i will upload small part here but if you are interested in listening to the full podcast i have the link in the description crows have been found to remember human faces and even teach their young to identify humans who have wronged them in the past uh can you tell us more about this uh, incredible capability of crows. Absolutely. You know, crows are incredibly intelligent birds and their ability to recognize and remember human faces uh, is truly remarkable. It's an example of their advanced cognitive abilities and demonstrates their adeptness at social learning. Researchers have conducted experiments to test the face recognition abilities of crows, and the results have been fascinating. In one study, researchers wore a specific mask while capturing and tagging crows for research purposes. After the release of these tagged crows, it was found that they not only remembered the face of the person who captured them, but also developed aversive reactions towards people wearing that same mask. What's even more astonishing is that these crows transmit this knowledge to other members of their flock, including their offspring. They teach their young about specific individuals who pose a threat or have been aggressive towards them in the past by exhibiting defensive behaviors or vocalizations when in their presence. This capability of crows has important implications for human crow interactions and potentially explains why some crows may become wary or show aggression towards certain individuals while being completely docile around others. It's as if they are saying, hey kids, watch out for that person. Their trouble, I guess knowing, I in another related experiment conducted by researchers at the University of Cambridge, they used masks to see if crows could recognize individual human faces, even without directly experiencing any negative encounters with them the researchers found that crows were indeed 
able to discriminate between different faces and exhibited cautionary behaviors towards those they perceived as potential threats. These feats of memory and social learning in crows highlight their adaptive intelligence and ability to form complex associations between facial features and past experiences. It's a testament to the, the sophisticated cognitive abilities present in various species within the animal kingdom. And a fun fact, apart from recognizing faces, crows are known for their problem-solving skills. They can use tools creatively. For example, bending wires into hooks to retrieve food from hard-to-reach places and even solve puzzles to obtain rewards. They are truly the MacGyvers of the avian world. Uh, wow, that's absolutely astounding. Um, Crow's ability to not only... Did you like this podcast? Please write in the comments. Now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, that I will give you some tips to improve it further. So here are some ideas. Number one, you can fine-tune any large language model like Llama 2 on a lot of uh, a podcast text this way you will have a expert large language model which can generate more natural sounding uh, conversations secondly you can fine tune even voices you can fine tune your text to speech synthesizer for more natural sounding voices in one experiment i uh, i cloned a neil the crust tyson's voice he is a big science celebrity, but I don't think it will be a good idea to upload that here. So just be creative. There is a lot that can be done to improve it and uh, just keep on experimenting. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now. Please like and subscribe.